So we came here to talk to you because of something that happened, and I'll refresh your memory. It was back in September, um, looks like early September of 2020. Can you tell me what happened? You, you were getting ready to tell me that when we first walked in, what happened with... He, was, he took me to the bathroom and took my pants down and as I was going, he says, boy, he says, you really have nice legs. And I, did, I didn't know if he's just being a nice person or what, but I just felt real creepy about it. And he like put his hand and rubbed my leg. Okay, like the top of your legs or inside? He just went like this. Okay. He said, you just have some nice legs. I just felt funny about it because yeah. nobody had ever done anything like that. Yeah, it just didn't feel right? Yeah. Okay. So I told the, one of the girls, I said, I, I don't want to get him in trouble because I don't know if he was just being nice or what. But I didn't like it. Yeah. Know? Did you say anything to him when he was no, doing I that? No, I didn't say anything okay. to him. It, it just... It kind of, you know, upset me, and I, I didn't know if I should say anything. Right. You I absolutely should say something. Anytime you feel funny about something, you always say something. That's what you should always do. Had that? Do you remember if he had, and you said that man, we talked a few minutes before we started recording here, and we'd come to, you said he was a black man, and um, I refreshed your memory with the name of God Bless, and you remember that was yeah. that was a man. And that, that's him, and I know that because I've got reports from where um, anytime there's anything at all here, they do a report, which is great. Um, and it, so I was able to get a copy of that to know that that's, that's the same person we're talking about. Was that the first time you ever dealt with him? Had, had he cared for you before? He had cared for me, I think, one other time. But, you know, he, he just never had done anything like that. Okay. You know? he just, and I don't know, he just... I don't know, he's like, when I wanted to go to the bathroom, there's usually two people here. He always wanted to take me. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, I thought about that after he'd done that, you know. Yeah. So I thought, why does he always want to take me to the bathroom? And so I just, I just didn't really want much to do with him after that. Yeah. I can't blame you. And your, your feelings, I think, were, were spot on. So, anything else you can remember from back then? Anything, any other times or anything that happened? No, and that's all I remember. Okay. No doubt. From what I was telling these gentlemen, he seemed like a pretty nice guy, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, the way he came I mean, he, he just didn't strike you as that type of person. That's right. why I was really confused. I never had anybody do that in here. Yeah. And, or any place else, and I just didn't, you know, I, I, I told the girl, I said, Maybe we shouldn't say anything because it's just, you know, I don't want to get him in trouble if he's being the yeah. person that's just being nice, you know. Right. Do you remember who it was you told, you first told about it, which you said the girl, which girl it was? Which girl it was? Was it, was it Annie, maybe? The nurse? No, it wasn't the nurse. It was one of the work oh, girls that worked there. I don't even think she's here now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see that. It wasn't Katie, was it? I'm not sure. Okay. Whoever it was must have told Maddie because Maddie's on the report. Yeah, that's what I thought she was. So you, you probably Maddie's told one of the other workers. A nurse. I yeah, because she said, Diane, I have to tell it. I, you know, I just felt like, well, maybe, you know, I should have waited. I just didn't know what to do. Yeah. You know, when you, something like that. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. You should never feel guilty. If, if something makes you feel uncomfortable like that, you should make sure you tell somebody. So, do you have any questions for us? No. Okay. Well, I thank you for taking the time to talk to us. So, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the recorder now. It's 11.10 a.m. Okay, so... Today is Tuesday, it's February 2nd, 2021. It's 11.17 a.m. I'm Mike Wyatt, and this is Jerry Niffenegger. We're detectives of the Sheriff's Office. We're here at the Otterbein of Mainville, and we're here with Caitlin, you go by Katie, uh, Katie Reed. Um, and Katie, what's your date of birth? How long have you worked here at Otterbein? I've been here since December 24th, 2019. Okay. And what is your job description? Or I'm here? an elder assistant. Okay. 
Um, so I, when we came in, we was talking to you because we, I told you we found a report from the state from an incident that happened back on either September 4th or September 5th of 2020. Was you, do you remember working and dealing with uh, uh, an incident with back around that time? We, I used to be on night shift. Okay. We had an incident where the gentleman, a, a gentleman, um, was sleeping in the den that he had been given. What's his name? Okay, God bless. Okay. Um, and what did God bless look like? He was African American. He was a little older. Um, probably around my, around my height, if I remember yeah. correctly, I'm about 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, yeah. Um, about all... For the most part, all I can really, I only worked with him and not even I Pretty unique him. name, he goes by God bless. Yes. Yeah. Um, but he was sleeping in our den. She got really agitated. Um, didn't want to go to bed. From, she sat at the kitchen table. She, so that's. Yes. Sorry. Um, we were at the kitchen table. She started venting and telling me everything that happened, that he was rubbing her thigh and her leg when she had her on the toilet, um, complimenting her skin and just rubbing her legs all over. That was, I was told that was the first instance incident. And then there was a second of where he had her again on the toilet and he went to wipe her and that she could feel his fingers up inside of her. Okay. Um, she said she yelled at him to stop and to get your hands out of there. And that, that's pretty much all she told me. Okay. I mean, she's mentioned when he was working with her, that like he was always trying to get her onto the toilet or get yeah, her She told us else. that too. She said he was always, whenever she had to go to the bathroom, he always mm -hmm. wanted to be the one to take her to the yeah. bathroom. Um, that's all I pretty, that's right. all I pretty much remember. Okay. Did you ever have any dealings with, did you talk to him after that or what, what, after that was reported to you, after she tells you that, um, what did you do with that? I information? reported it to my nurse immediately. Okay. And is that Mandy? I think, is that the name? Mandy it was or Mandy Maddie? Jesse. Well, Maddie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then you report it to her. Did you ever talk to God bless about that incident? No. Um, and I didn't. didn't. They had him leave that night, and after that, I I hadn't seen him. Okay. Um, anything, had you, was that the first time he was ever just sleeping here? Is that normal for someone to be just sleeping here, or staying it's here? It's not normal, no. Usually we don't stay here unless it's a freak thing. Have you ever stayed here? Have I? No. Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I'd rather just, go back it, home to my bed. Yeah, it seems very odd to me that somebody would be staying here. Um, you know, like, it seems odd. So that's it's, why I was asking. Yeah, no, I know, I knew, I mean, I know he was a little odd. It was like my second time meeting him, or I was relieving him. He went to say, he was, he was telling me goodbye. He had his hand on my left shoulder, and his hand kind of slid down onto my breast. But I didn't think anything of it. Right. Because but he was still shaking, so I figured he was still on my shoulder. I didn't I didn't think about it. Right. I mean, that's... Did anybody else ever talk about Did you ever hear anybody else talk about any other residents? Not in this house, no. Because okay. I'm usually in here. I know they said they walked through and checked everybody or had talked to everyone, and no one else, from, from my understanding, from we were told, looked like they had been. Okay. So it was a strong enough accusation that the facility requested that he not come back to work yes. here so but not so it sounds like um didn't want to report it to the police at the time is correct. that correct she just wanted it to, to stop him to be gone and it to go away is yes. that okay um anything i haven't asked anything we need here no. okay no. anything i haven't asked you that you think is important i don't think so okay if i can you, think of anything else i'll I give don't. you a card and give me a call um do you have any questions for us Okay. Just to get him out of the facilities. Yeah. yeah. Time now we is 11.22. We'll shut the recorder off there.